Hi, this is Soft Cell Video Productions, and in this episode we're going to go over some of the testers that a good electrician should keep with them. We're also going to go over, very basically, how to use these testers. So let's get started. The most basic electrical testing device you're ever going to use is the plug tester. There's a lot of different brands, but this particular one has a GFI tester. If you push this button, it will trip a GFI that's working properly. Plug testers generally are arranged so that the two orange lights lit up mean that the plug is wired properly. There's a complete menu on which lights are lit up and what the problem is. For all the plug testers I've ever used, every brand, two yellows indicate correct wiring. Next in line is the multimeter. It tests alternating current from 600 volts down to 2 milliamps and from 600 volts down to 200 milliamps direct current. It also tests ohms and continuity. Right now it's set for 20 volts direct current. So let's check out this battery. Well, it's a little weak, but no matter. You can't do without this and you should always test everything you work on before you work on it to see if it's live or not. This is a pair of tools that will save you countless hours of tracing out wires and opening up drywall. It is called a toner and it tones wire. This is an FM transmitter. This is a FM receiver. When you turn it on, it detects that tone and it will detect through as much as three quarters of an inch of drywall. It will even detect through stucco. The way that it's used is you attach one end, you have a good signal there and you have a good signal there. Another way of using this, if the wire is in the wall, you follow it, and as soon as your signal drops off, you know that's where your wire is cut. That is how you find cut wires in walls. By far, one of the most important tools I use is called an amp pro. Now this acts as a multimeter, but doesn't have as many settings. It measures the amount of amperage going through a wire. Set the probe to something a little bit higher of what you're expecting. I usually set it at 200 amps if I'm expecting 60 amps or less. If I'm expecting somewhat less than 5 amps, I set it at 20 amps. To use this properly, you open the clamps, place them over the wire, and you want to make sure the wire is dead center of this, and it will give you a real-time reading of amperage on the printout. And that pretty much sums up the different tools we use. With these four tools, you can figure out just about anything that's going on in a house. That finishes this segment of electrical tools. Thanks for watching and have a great day.